Chess is fun and hard and old and you either know about chess or you know how to play chess. There is simply no escaping the game. And the same could be said about RPGs. You have the overlap of strategy, turn-based mechanics, as well as the same type of audience. You know who I'm talking about. The know-it-all nerds who think they're the best at this one little thing. Yes, I was in the chess club. But the question remains, how has nobody made a successful chess RPG? The only other popular chess games on Steam are 5D Chess and Shotgun King. Everything in between is just chess with extra steps, which describes most chess-based games now when I think about it. And so I decided to try and make a chess RPG myself. Here's how this will work. We need to remake a chess game, or at least some base mechanics resembling chess. Thankfully, the rules of chess are fairly well established. We only need to make sure we're as close to those as possible. And then we need to sandwich in some RPG mechanics on top. I'll add leveling because it is one of the most universal RPG mechanic out there. And to finish off, we can make a little prototype at the end to see if our game has potential. Let's start with creating the player character. After all, we need a protagonist and who better than a pawn? Because pawns are the only chess piece with character progression. Following that, I got some basic movement working. And yes, the pawn can move in all directions. Don't judge. Oh, and let's not forget about the board. For enemy pieces, I just borrowed models from the web and also added a few cool shaders to warn the player where the enemy is attacking and where the enemy is landing. That's right, the battle bus is now part of the chess lore. All we need now is some attack animations, and by animations I mean removing the enemy piece from existence. It was also around this time when I encountered my first big obstacle. You see, chess has stalemates, meaning you can end in a draw, because progress can't be made. Which means if the player ever faces another pawn alone, they have no chance of outmaneuvering the enemy piece. Both pieces are simply stuck in an eternal struggle. To resolve this design problem, I took inspiration from the Japanese. And no, I'm not talking about Shogi, I'm instead talking about Sekiro. That's right, you can now counter your opponents in chess. Parry this, you filthy casual. The RPG aspects of the game were fairly easy to add as there are more than enough tutorials that tell you how to do it. For me, I simplified this to an experience bar because who doesn't love a good numbers go up dopamine surge? Adding a little UI for the type upgrades you can pick and voila, you can have a skill tree. Except it's a skill circle. Now, if you ever wanted to turn your pawn into a pony, well, not a problem. To finish everything off, I made this huge battleground to play around with and I have to say the game is not that great. It pretty much feels like Into the Breach, except it needs some serious rebalancing. The enemy pieces currently attack on a single square, which makes it feel a bit basic and too easy to dodge. Oh, and they can totally face through each other. If you want to try this yourself, I've uploaded a copy on itch, which you can play for free. Overall, I enjoyed this project. It was fun, but I think I'll try to make something a bit more original next time.